Watch this. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes. It looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food, and then pop back up. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. That's a good dog right there. Imagine having a conversation with an AI that understands you better than ever before. Meet the new ChatGPT model, GPT-40, not just a step forward, but a giant leap in artificial intelligence. Today, we're diving deep into how GPT-40 is outperforming every other AI on the market and revolutionizing real-time chat. Stay tuned to uncover the future of AI communications, unfolding now. In OpenAI Spring Update event, they have just announced GPT-40, their new flagship model that marks a significant breakthrough in artificial intelligence. This advanced model is capable of reasoning across audio, vision, and text in real-time, setting a new standard for multimodal AI capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. So I'm on stage right now, I'm doing a live demo, and frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert. ChatGPT has just launched several significant updates, with the most notable being the introduction of a brand new model, GPT-40. This advanced version will be accessible to everyone at no cost. Consequently, users won't need to rely on the previous version, ChatGPT 3.5, anymore. Everyone will have the opportunity to experience the capabilities of ChatGPT 4.0. GPT 4.0, named for its Omni capabilities, represents a pivotal shift towards more seamless human-computer interactions. This model is designed to handle inputs in any combination of text, audio, and image, and it can produce outputs in these same modalities. Notably, GPT-40 can respond to audio inputs in as little as 232 milliseconds, with an average response time of 320 milliseconds, comparable to human reaction times in conversation. In terms of performance, GPT-40 matches the capabilities of GPT-4 Turbo in processing English text and code, but it shows significant improvements in handling non-English text. Hey ChatGPT. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with a uh, coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Okay, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. Okay, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one-sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Additionally, it operates faster and costs 50% less when accessed via the API. They also demonstrated a real-time voice feature. With this innovation, you can now converse with the ChatGPT app using the new GPT model instantly, eliminating the previous delay of 2 to 3 seconds. In the updated version, the response time is significantly faster, enhancing the overall user experience. Now, let's discuss the benefits that come with the ChatGPT 4 model, particularly for those using the free version. This upgrade represents a major enhancement, as all free users will now have access to the advanced capabilities of GPT 4 at no cost. Before the advent of GPT-40, using voice mode to interact with ChatGPT involved considerable latencies, 2.8 seconds with GPT-3.5 and 5.4 seconds with GPT-4. This mode utilized a three-part pipeline. Initially, a simple model would transcribe spoken audio to text. Then, the core AI model, either GPT-3.5 or GPT-4, processed this text and generated a textual response. Finally, another simple model converted this text response back into spoken audio. 
This multi-step process introduced several limitations. Primarily, the core GPT models, such as GPT-4, could not directly process audio signals. This meant they were unable to perceive nuances like tone, variations among different speakers, or background sounds. Additionally, these models lacked the ability to generate nuanced audio responses, such as laughter, singing, or expressing emotion in the output, resulting in a more mechanical and less human-like interaction. If you're interested in seeing how GPT-40 stacks up against other models, OpenAI has released a comprehensive benchmark on their blog. This analysis compares GPT-40 to several other significant AI models, including GP4 Turbo, the original release of GPT from Cloud3 Opus, as well as Gemini Pro 1.0 and Gemini Ultra Google's top models. Additionally, it includes comparisons with Meta's foremost model, Llama 3. This benchmark provides a clear perspective on where GPT-40 stands in relation to some of the most advanced AIs currently available. These models have all undergone rigorous testing, and interestingly, GPT-40 has set a new benchmark by achieving a high score of 87% on the 5-shot general knowledge quiz. This performance not only surpasses all the other models, including the paid versions of ChatGPT, but it also excels in other areas, such as mathematical tests. What equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? In these evaluations, GPT-40 significantly outperforms the competition by a wide margin, establishing it as a leader in the field. With GPT-40, you also gain access to advanced features that were previously part of GPT-4, such as vision capabilities. Aww, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. This allows you to upload images, PDFs, and similar content for the model to analyze and understand the visual information. Moreover, the newly introduced memory function, which was initially available only in the paid version of ChatGPT, is now accessible for free in GPT-40. Can you summarize this meeting for us? Sure. So, in today's meeting, Lillian and Christine express their love for dogs, highlighting their loyalty, companionship, and how great they are with kids. On the other hand, Ola prefers cats for their independence, quietness, and longevity. It was a fun little debate on the classic dogs versus cats topic. This enhancement significantly boosts the utility of the AI, enabling it to remember previous interactions and provide more contextually aware responses. Additionally, you now have free access to data analytics, allowing you to upload and analyze PDFs and Excel files with ChatGPT, a feature previously exclusive to our paid version. Another update is the availability of web browsing using Bing's browsing function, which was also limited to paid subscribers before. Essentially, all features that were part of the paid GPT-4 are now available in GPT-40 for users of the free version. The most exciting upgrade is the universal access to custom GPTs and the GPT Store. OpenAI invited myself and my son Imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. So here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem. But don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction. But I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Perfect. Carbs, correct. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Starting today, it is also available in the API, offering twice the speed at half the cost of the current GP4 Turbo model. If you're developing with GP4, this new update is definitely worth considering. This model has enabled real-time voice conversations with ChatGPT, as demonstrated recently. 
It was a compelling demonstration, showcasing not only voice interaction but also visual capabilities. For instance, they wrote on a card and showed it to ChatGPT, which responded immediately. This feature extends to video as well. This is a significant advancement compared to previous demonstrations, like Google's Gemini demo, which was edited and not truly real-time. This new demo, however, was performed in real-time. It appears that real-time voice conversations on the app will initially be available only to paid users. According to a tweet by Sam Altman, this feature will start rolling out in the next few weeks. For those of us with paid accounts, the major enhancement is this real-time voice capability within the app, though there are no significant other updates at this time. The 20 languages were selected to demonstrate the new tokenizer's effectiveness across various language families. Um, I speak Italian, there... so we oh, can okay, just cool. speak English, Italian. Let's try to do English, Italian. Sure, let's do it. I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? They might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le equazioni lineari. Sicuramente, sì. <laughs> Certainly, yes. Great, it looks like it works. <laughs> ChatGPT 40 how to use? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now <laughs> show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the bad cheek smile. Your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I want to introduce you to somebody. Well, hello there, cutie. What's your name, little slough ball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blog. <laughs> Stay tuned for more updates on ChatGPT, the desktop app, and the new real-time voice feature coming soon. All right, friends, it's time to conclude our new AI ChatGPT mode chatbot video. But before we do, I'd love to hear your thoughts on ChatGPT 4.0. Please share your experiences and feedback in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. If you're curious about how to edit like Dhruv rather how to make travel map animation video motion graphics tutorial click on the video link on the left. If you're interested in convert free audio to video using AI best free text to video AI generator Noisy AI click on the video link on the right. Thank you for being part of this journey happy learnify AI goodbye.